give us your decision, I want to impress you with three things. First, you're a civilian. You don't have to go. No way of our making you go. Second, this is a very dangerous mission. There's no guarantee that you'll survive or that the mission will even do any good. And third, that it might do a great good. It might be the means of turning the tide of war in this area. I understand all these things. Are you ready to give us your decision? Yes. My answer must be no. You see, when a man faces death, he must weigh his values very carefully. He must weigh the sweetness of his life against the thing he's asked to die for. The probability of death is very great for both of us, Lieutenant. Do not believe what you ask me to do is... We're asking you to help us lick the Japs. It's as simple as that. We're against the Japs. I know what you are against. What are you for? When I was 22, I thought the world hated bullies as much as I did. I was foolish, and I killed one. Since then, I have asked no help from anyone or any country. These bullies have multiplied and grown strong. The world sat by and watched. Oh, to hell with this, Debeck. Let's be honest. Aren't you just a guy in love with a girl, and you're putting her above everything else in this world? Yes. I care about my life with her more than anything else in the world. It's all that is important to me. This I'm sure of, and this I have. I cannot risk to lose it. Good day, gentlemen. He's an honest man, but he's wrong. Of course, we can't bear, guarantee a better world if we win. Point is, we can be sure it'd be far worse if we, can't, if we lose, can't we? Well, can't we? Of course. Cable, a bottle, a bottle of scotch in my bottom drawer. I'll see you tomorrow. This is the bottle he's talking about. Sir, Captain Barney! 